Hey guys, what's happening? Jamie here from Unbox. On October 20, Moto revealed that they were back in the Philippines and unveiled six smartphones altogether. While they released mid-range smartphones such as the Moto G4 Plus and other members of the G series, all eyes were on the Moto Z, Moto Z Play, and the Moto Mods. We managed to get some alone time with the two phones, so let's take a closer look at them in this initial review. We should begin by mentioning that the Moto Z and Moto Z Play have a lot in common externally. They both have a 5.5 inch display, the same square fingerprint scanner, and the same button and port placements as well. You've got the power button and volume rocker on the right side, the tray for the two SIM card slash micro SD card on the left, and USB type C port on the bottom. They both share a glass back, race camera modules, and the magnetic pins to attach the Moto mods to. There are however two easy ways to spot the difference its thickness, and the 3.5mm jack found on the Moto Z Play. Under the hood of the Moto Z Play is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor that's paired with 3GB of RAM, 32GB of expandable storage, and an Adreno 506 GPU. It has a 5.5-inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with a 5MP front camera above it. The Moto Z Play may have the same size camera hump as the Moto Z, but its main shooter is a 16 megapixel camera that's equipped with f2.0 aperture lens, face detection autofocus, and dual LED flash. One thing the Moto Z Play has over its more expensive brother is a bigger 3510 mAh battery, plus the 3.5mm jack that sits beside the USB Type-C port. On to the Moto Z. We mentioned the difference in thickness between the two siblings and that's because the Moto Z measures in at just 5.2mm compared to the 7mm of the Moto Z Play. It's got to be one of the thinnest flagship phones we've ever held in our hands and it's really something else. Powering the Moto Z is a Snapdragon 820 processor, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of expandable storage, and an Adreno 530 GPU. The Moto Z also wins out in terms of its display since it has a 5.5 inch AMOLED display at Quad HD resolution, giving it a pixel density of 535 pixels per inch. The selfie cameras on both phones may be the same, but the Moto Z's main shooter is a 13 megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture lens, laser autofocus, optical image stabilization, and dual LED flash. Sadly, the Moto Z loses out to the Moto Z Play in terms of juice because it only has a 2600 mAh battery to keep it running. Both devices run on stock versions of Android 6.0 Marshmallow and it's nice to see it free and clear from any bloatware. Upon initial use, both phones navigated through the UI well with smooth transitions and animations, plus snappy app launches as well. The fingerprint scanners were also on point being fast and accurate. And that's pretty much it for this hands-on and initial review for the Moto Z and Moto Z Play. The Moto Z Play has been priced at $22,999, while its higher-spec slim sibling, the Moto Z, is priced at $33,999. We should have the full review for the Moto Z up in a few days, with a full review for the Moto Z Play to follow, so do stay tuned. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the Moto Z or Moto Z Play. This is Jamie, and I'll see you next time.